Friends, who is Jesus? Who is Jesus Christ? Jesus is the ruler who knows you. He is the brother who loves you. And he is the victim who is ready to forgive you. Just think about that with me in this last moment. He is the ruler who knows you. That's who Jesus Christ is. He's the one and only Son of God. He's the sovereign Lord. He knows all things. Nothing is hidden from him. No secret is ever kept from him. Before a word is on your tongue, he knows it completely. Before a thought goes through your mind, he's entirely aware of it. There is nothing about you or about your life that is not completely known to him. And how that feels will depend on whether he's for you or against you and whether you're for him or against him. David knew that God was for him, and David was for God, and he said, you, you know me completely, and, and such knowledge is just too wonderful for me. It's the most marvelous thing that you know everything about me. How else would I ever get invited to your banqueting house if you didn't know me by name? How else would I ever be brought into your house, O oh God, if it was not that you knew me? and that you loved me. The woman at the well goes running into the town of Sychar, and she says, come and meet a man who told me everything I ever did. And she's completely joyful about it, despite the fact that many of the things that she had done, she should never have done. And Jesus told her about them. So why is she so joyful about this Jesus knowing everything about her? Because she's also discovered that this same Jesus loves her. He's not only the ruler who knows you, he is the brother who loves you. And when you get a taste of his love for you, it will not be long before you find in your own heart some response, some reflection of that great love. We love him because he first has loved us. This great ruler who in very nature is God himself, he becomes our brother. The ruler who knows you becomes the brother who loves you. How? Because God becomes man in Jesus Christ. He takes his stand alongside of you. And what else is he? He is the victim who is ready to forgive you. This ruler, this brother, what happened to him? He became the victim. That's what's happening on the cross. He became the sacrifice. He was the one on whom our sins were laid, which is why every sin is a sin against Christ, because sin was laid onto Christ. And he became the sacrifice. But he didn't end there. He rose. He was exalted to the right hand of the Father, and he stands ready to forgive us and to reconcile with all who will come to him. And he calls us brothers and sisters, and he seats us at his table uh, where he will feed us and nourish us even to everlasting life. So here's the message that comes from the identity of Joseph that points to the identity of Jesus. You are known, you are loved, and you can be forgiven through Jesus Christ, who is the one and only Son of God. And when you see who he is, why would you not submit to him as your ruler and love him as your brother and trust him as your Savior, who gave himself as a sacrifice for your sins. Let's pray together. Your blood has washed away my sin, Jesus. Thank you. The Father's wrath completely satisfied, Jesus. Thank you. Once your enemy, now seated at your table, 
Jesus, thank you. Hear the cry of our hearts. Amen.